Hello my beautiful Leo, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome to this channel. Right, thanks so much for being here, thanks for visiting. We are doing a weekly reading for June 5th through to 11th, 2023. Leo, are you ready? Let's dive in. Right, just keep in mind, this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. So if this is your Sun sign and it doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely fine. Pop in your Moon and Rising videos to see more in-depth information that you can find there as well. There will be a message for you for sure. Alrighty, what are we doing today? We are going to have a look at the recent past, current situation and a near future, of course. Of course, clarifying with the Keeper, two decks of uh, tarot decks and message from uh, your higher self that you need to know right now. Leo, how are you doing? Right. Wow. Ace of Wands. This is an interesting one. I have to say, Wands this week are very, very popular. <laughs> popular uh, flavor. Okay. Because Mercury is in Gemini at the very, very end of this week. And Mercury is about communication. Okay. Mercury is about putting yourself out there. Really promoting yourself and about what because Gemini is about arts about um music creative and whatever it is the kind of creative side whatever you create either that's a, that is cupcakes or baby booties or maybe even um video games doesn't matter okay what you create from nothing or you're starting some sort of business even you're going to probably working in your social media putting kind of um testers out there and see how it is like this is a good, good, good week for that. Oh, right. Eight of Pentacles. Wow, fabulous. I need to quick shuffle here. So that's a recent pass there. Then we have... Okay, we have Seven of Swords. Apparently, okay. Five of Pentacles. Wow. What's going on? What's going on? A near future. Three of Swords. Okay. Heartache. And the Lovers, guys. What's going on? We have Scorpio here and Five of Cups as well and High Priestess. Okay, so it feels like there is some sort of, um, perhaps you, I'm not doing usually readings like this, but perhaps you're feeling a little bit run down or you're feeling a little bit not the best in your health at the moment. And hence you have these kind of particular kind of cards that signifying that you might have been a little bit in lower energies. But we will clarify and we're going to go much more in detail about this. Don't you worry. Okay, let's dive in with the Keeper. In recent past. Wealthy man. Things going well. Things going lucky. 13. Yes, indeed. Current situation. Oh, see? And I said, I don't like usually use because I'm not a health medical or whatever a professional. But there is something... And very often when, when bad health is, perhaps you're experiencing some traumatic uh, flashbacks from past or crazy dreams. Something that is really putting you off, really putting off your kind of balance and really affecting your uh, energy around you. And I'm going to clarify in the two ticks, which is interesting where, where this is you. I'm look at uh, numbers. I love the numbers. This is you, wealthy man, hands in the pockets, and all is great, right? And then suddenly, kind of like turned around for 13, 1, 3, to 3, 1. It's kind of like opposite. This is not you. This is not you, Leo. It feels like, and it doesn't have to be kind of bad health per se, per se but something has been uh, off putting, let's say. <laughs> off putting. What's this about? Let's get one more keeper out. What's this about? Okay, dream. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get to this. And in the near future, we have message of concern. Okay, 13, 14, things are moving along. And what's this concern is about? Oh, this is going to be an interesting reading. I feel it in my bones, guys. Leo, Leo, what is this about? Oh, wow, monies. Money, money. Okay. I have straight in, I'm going to say something, okay, um, I know I'm kind of jumping, perhaps you have been overworking and really committing to a lot of stuff, you have so much energy, you do so much and you commit yourself to so much stuff, you're going to help someone, you're going to make money, you're going to go this and run the house and, and work and etc, etc, and it feels like there, 
maybe some idea that you want to pursue. Maybe you want to do an extra something, okay, as an extra side hustle. And it feels like it's too much. Okay, it feels a bit too much. You want more. You want more. And this is what you want. You want a great fortune. You want that big explosion of money. And, you know, and I understand Ace of Wands, Aces are yourself. You are very creative. You know how to make money. When you apply yourself, Leo, you are absolute rocket. <laughs> you bomb. You, you, you are unstoppable. And you are such a hard working and smart working sign. No one, no one can actually um, compete with you, basically, apart from Capricorn, maybe not this, but don't say that. Okay. Now, let's dive in and clarify these cards. What are these about? I have a very good feeling you are very, you have a very good journey. You have a very good um, base, you know, kind of foundation here. Okay. Perhaps sometimes you can, and, and take this with a pinch of salt, you can sometimes take uh, things too personally, or you want a more, you want a bigger and grander. But just to remember, I know there's 24 hours in a day, but you got to look after your body as well. You can't run yourself down on empty, okay? Ten of Pentacles, this is something that you, there is more and more and you want it, and it's coming, okay? And I wouldn't be surprised to see page of um page of um sorry knights of knights of pentacles because that is kind of message saying that you perhaps need to kind of take steady approach okay and because it's the Rome wasn't the Rome wasn't built in one day okay and sometimes you get really excited about things okay what's this about wheel of fortune okay uh-huh which way okay so you want to really up your game and that's for sure that's our feeling here we have you know aries here as well with the emperor uh what i'm feeling here you really want to kind of up your game and take to that next level basically perhaps you don't have whether you have a knowledge or not i don't know and you're really trying okay um things are going well for you okay in recent past things are going really really well okay let's clarify the eight of pentacles this card no not that's not that and let's dive into this one okay ace of cups and nine and king of pentacles there's a good omen for you there's some very good energies regarding opportunities and feeling well and putting great building great communications in fact as well okay and really you have the sense of you kind of had a opportunity or some sort of feel that you could actually either improve your position or improve your how much money you can make and you know you felt like yay i'm gonna go for this okay and then you perhaps you've forgotten about that you got to look after yourself and that was kind of one of the things that it's it's good to have new things in your life and it's good to kind of spread out but you are on your own here at the moment and it feels like you are doing a lot of stuff on your own as well and it's kind of like you need to take little baby steps, like a little baby girl, okay? Now, we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. And this is more about mindset. In both cards, this is about mindset, okay? Even though you could have... Look, everyone, we could do different. Like, if someone said £1,000, okay, for someone may have feel, oh, it's nothing, okay? Or that's just, yeah, yeah, it's all right. But for someone, £1,000 is a huge amount of money, like a dream come true money, right? And it feels for you, Leo, that you feel like you have this amount or some sort of success and it feels like it's not enough. And it's not just enough in money-wise, but it feels like you're really pushing yourself a lot. It's good. Yeah, I understand. But that can lead you to really ending up in the bed, okay? Because your body runs down and, and your mind runs down. It feels like why you have this kind of sense of feeling you're not good enough. Why are you comparing yourself? That is kind of question, okay? Seven of Swords, let's qualify. Clar not qualify, but clarify. Ace of Swords, yeah. You really feel like you want to perform extra. More and more and more and be the best and the bigger and better and better. You know, and, and that is very good indeed. Everything in... in um. In measures, you know. Let's have a look. What's this about? Gemini. Gemini is here. Wow. The, it is a card of relationship and, and love, perhaps, as well. But this card says that sometimes you can be rather harsh to yourself. 
the way you talk to yourself, perhaps in the way you kind of communicate with yourself, that you compare yourself maybe to others as well. And hence you like feeling like, oh, am I getting that at my age, at this age, someone else has more or, or and so and so. And you feel like, oh, I should have more as well, you know, and that kind of sense is here. Let's have a look at the five pentacles. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? The star. And we have five pentacles again, guys. You can't just make this happen, okay? So this is important. When the cards repeat, it's kind of like saying, be grateful what you have because you're going to reach the start. You are going to reach your dreams in your own time. Everyone has their own timing. Trust me. If one thing you can take away from this reading is literally, Leo, you have your own timing. Do not compare it to no one else, okay? You have your own journey put out there, okay? Enjoy it. Be that... Um, king of the jungle you know you do not need someone else's rules and regulations to abide for make your own okay make your own strategy and focus it and when you're so focused on what you want for yourself and for your, the ones you love you're going to reach what you want we have Aquarius here and you're going to reach the stars because universe is granting you some beautiful um uh, rewards here so do not talk down on yourself. Do not start manifesting, okay? That's very, very important that you not start to um, have these thoughts that are uh, low energy thoughts. That, that otherwise will stop from uh, receiving that goodness in your... Oh, look at this in the stance here. And the Six of Swords. So moving away from the energies that are lowering you, that are slowing you down, is very important because you're going to be... This is golden opportunity. Now, the sun and the star together, like, come on. <laughs> okay, Leo. No one gets that apart from you, of course. All right. Now, it's a very, very good omen. Take that with you. Now, in the near future, what we have, we have three of swords and lovers again. Lovers again. There is some, um, enough maybe for every one of you, but I feel that some of you guys have a person or a, some sort of relationship that could improve in your opinion okay either should improve i don't know but it feels like look how the lovers are looking back at all the three swords and kind of thinking okay perhaps i shouldn't say this perhaps i shouldn't be thinking of this could be a family member could be a lover could be someone that is you feeling a grudge maybe and there's something perhaps said or unsaid things and it needs to be unraveled because these ones here are Archangel Raphael wings. This is talking about healing. Healing about in your relationship. All right. Let's clarify the three swords. And what we have, we have a message of concern and great fortune. So there is a still strong, perhaps you have forgotten some of the people in your life. Maybe friends and you have, may have missed out on messaging back or communicating or visiting. Okay. Because you're very, very extremely focused on your success and there's nothing wrong with that but it just comes at the price at the moment it feels like it does kind of come at the price okay we have the fortune again guys this is amazing take it so i have the sense of here as well but two tens this is so interesting there's some great closures happening and i feel that there could be people left behind and the reason is this if someone doesn't respect your future or present, they don't have a place in your future. Okay. And it feels like that you are moving so far, so quick, so fast, that you are outgrowing your peers, you're outgrowing your perhaps even your partner or your colleagues, and you just you just don't someone is talking about things that you just feel like it's like a rubbish talk, you know, you know, you're focusing much more on bigger, better things. And it feels like you want to leave something behind. Okay. They don't have place in your life. Here we go. And that's how it feels. There's some endings, guys. Great endings here. Now we have another Ace of Swords. So there will be message coming your way. Okay. Message coming from either your angels or God or universe, whatever you, you believe in, to kind of help to overcome the situation. And very important is to release, not to hold on to the grudge. Now, let's have a look at the lovers, 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 lovers for my beautiful Leos, Leos, Leos. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's time to, and we have tutus. Um, <laughs> um, 
it's time to maybe reach out. But my feeling here is this. You're going to reach out to, there will be some new uh, connections happening. Like-minded people, because you're growing, you're outgrowing. You are focusing on your growth. And whoever is not on your level, you just, you know, sometimes we have these people called, we call friends from childhood because you know them forever. But it comes a time we kind of like drift apart. There's less to talk about because they maybe talk about the same or same. Or it's nothing wrong with that. But you want more and you want something different. This is you. Okay. And there will be some proposals. We have a beautiful. How we ending this reading is we start with the Ten of Pentacles. We had like immense amount of tens. So there's some massive closures. Some massive confirmations that you are on the right track. Guys, there's some proposal. Could be love or money proposal that leads to immense money indeed as well guys you are doing so well just please 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 now and then have a good night's sleep and look after yourself as well okay what your inner what your inner being wants to tell you i just got some, i just got um word no speechless for a second yeah subconscious mind wants to tell, tell you something okay Familiar. responsibility oh wow this is an interesting on this one here we are responsible for body mind and spirit and they all come in three they are not separate we are not separate body we are not separate spirit everything is connected and it is your responsibility to look after that I'm sure you will. <laughs> However, beautiful Leos, I'm sending you so much love. Yes, indeed. I love you loads. Thank you so much for being here. Really, indeed. And I'll see you guys where in the next reading. Ta-da!